Hey guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to another video and today I'm doing something that I've been waiting for for so long. I'm doing a sketchbook tour. So about a year ago I decided to grab a moleskin sketchbook and just to draw in it almost every day, which was the plan originally, but that eventually went away. But I wanted to fill this up and then eventually do a tour for you guys, so that's what I'm doing today. So on the front I drew this little thing from Mario, and then on the back I just have a few random stickers. And I always like to customize all my sketchbooks, so I will do this for my next one. I do have a moleskin sketchbook already ready, so I can start my next sketchbook today. So if we go ahead and open it up and take a look inside, our first page is, um, this is a watercolor that I did, and I have a start date up here, this was uh, July 21st, 2017. And this was my first piece, so just a little watercolor piece that I did. Next was this uh, kind of experimental drawing, just trying to mess around with different colors and stuff like that. And yeah, that was that. This was some facial practice and weird collage stuff. I think I just made these faces and then I didn't know what to do with, with the page. So I just put some random stuff on it. Right here is um, me drawing and this figure I guess over top of it don't really know what it was supposed to resemble I had this was like a year ago so I don't really remember this was the first uh, Copic illustration inside the sketchbook and I did figure out that it bleeds through so whenever I do a Copic illustration I have to paste something onto the back this drawing is from one of my YouTube videos it was my I think it's like how I illustrate or how I uh, make drawings and that was the drawing for it. It was either that or a New Year's resolution video. I can't remember. This was some dinosaur practice. I just looked up a cartoon dinosaur and just tried to get as close as I could and I really liked actually using this blue pen. It was a lot of fun. It forces me to not erase so I can't erase at all which is nice and then it forced me to kind of um, use only one color to make shadows. This was a reference drawing. I was just sitting at a table and I thought the landscape looked cool, so I made a little quick sketch of it. This was um, facial practices. So I drew random people or looked people up on Google and whatnot and drew them with different art styles and stuff like that. It got better as it went down, so. This was some fashion practice with uh, the blue pen again. This was also some me trying out different art styles and stuff. So I found this one art style on Instagram where they really exaggerate different features of the face. So I did that with like the nose and mouth and ears and stuff like that. And I wasn't super happy with it, but I did like the coloring. So made myself a little note down here. It says work on ears, exaggerate features, and do different eyes. So this, um, <laughs> This was going to be for a YouTube video, and then I got halfway through, as you can see, and I was like, this looks disgusting, so I just stopped. So, what it was was supposed to be the connection between set one and set two. So, this is Thunder Goliath, and this is Thunder Knight, which is the first card. So, that's what it was supposed to be, and then I just stopped, and it said, this makes me barf. This was some other practicing with the blue pen, and just working on different perspectives and stuff like that. Uh, this was... Um, reference drawing off of another artist on Instagram. This is Rodka on the artist and I just was trying out his art style. This was me trying to take his art style and throw in my own twist to it and I didn't like it so I wrote a little note and it said that I look dead inside which it does so. These also said look dead inside and these were just random sketches of different art styles and things that I had seen online. This was a reference sketch. I had my shoe on my desk, I think, and I was trying to f figure out things to draw, and I saw my shoe, and I was like, okay, well, I'll draw my shoe. So, I drew my shoe. This was probably one of my favorite pieces in this sketchbook. It's just this little, simple colored pencil piece, but I think the color should not really great in the facial expression also. This was a portrait of Troy Vaughn. And this was like a year ago, so I've definitely improved a ton um, from this with portraits, as I now have a sketchbook that's made just for portraits, but this is okay. Like, you can kind of tell it's Troy Spawn if you, like, knew him. Uh, this was me and my brother, and because we went to a falls and, for a little road trip, and yeah. 
This right here was a design that I was thinking of for a t-shirt. So just like some aliens chasing an astronaut and be like across like a sweatshirt or something like that. I thought that was a cool design. I never fully finished it, but this was just more pen work and working it out in different hairstyles and expressions and stuff like that. This is me after I had just finished um, Avatar series on Amazon Prime and I was inspired to make that, so. Yep. This was me trying out that art style where instead of black lines around the outside, they use the same color and just make it darker. So I was working on that. I should have probably filled up this page a little bit more, but it's fine. This was more inspiration after Avatar, and I used red pad instead to go along with the uh, fire element thing. And then this was just a little sketch of a wizard in a library. These were some realistic sketches of animals because as I've said multiple times, I'm not that great at drawing animals unless I have reference. So these were um, me looking at images on Google and referencing them and trying to draw them with pen, which makes it so I can't erase. This was just a colored pencil piece and I was working a lot with highlights, so I wanted to putting these orange highlights from the flame. This one I really like for some reason. It's not that special, but I think it just turned out really good. I think the different like layers of color with the blue pen turned out really cool, and the line work just ended up looking really good. So I like that one. And then this was me using different um, materials just to throw together a little bit of a piece. This one is me working on females, because I tend to draw males more than females. I don't know. I think I just like drawing the hair more. Um, this stuff is all from a live stream, I'm pretty sure. Instagram live stream. Same with this down here. This was a drawing of Link. I don't know if this was in a YouTube video. It might have been, I'm not sure. This was a drawing of Tuff from Avatar, just a pencil drawing and then threw in some green. This was, I think, the three supplies challenge maybe yeah I think so I think I could have this purple colored pencil this uh, skin tone marker and then like a black liner I think that's all I got in the video this was actually a lot of fun I think I did this for an Instagram live stream too and it was a Polaroid of I think this like I don't know exactly what this was I can't remember from the Google image but it was a really cool uh, photo and I decided to do a little bit of an abstract version of it with uh, colored pencils Now this was really close to a year ago, and this is when I hit 600 subs So just thinking about that in a year I gained about 5,000 subscribers, so that's kind of amazing But this was a little comic that I made for Instagram it's This computer saying you reach 600 subs, and then I'm having a problem. So <laughs> yeah, this over here was a colored pencil piece, and it's me holding some Copic markers and going crazy. I think this was also just for Instagram, I think. This was a piece from the Cheap Art Supplies Challenge, I'm pretty sure, and I had some really cheap colored pencils and made this piece. It turned out pretty good, but couldn't really push like the deep colors with it because the colored pencils weren't very waxy. This was another just practicing, I guess, with the blue pen. Just messing around, I guess. This was from the No Thumbs Challenge, and I drew Tom and Jerry. Surprisingly did pretty good, but otherwise, it's all right. This was just some work with my fine liner, and just messing around with this pattern that I do a lot. I don't really know what this was, or who it is, or anything, but it turned out, it's cool. It kind of looks like Hanzo from Overwatch, if you play the game, but I don't think it was meant to be him at all, and I just threw some leaves and flowers around it. This was me trying to incorporate highlighter into a piece, and I actually really, really like this. I actually saw someone recreate this on Instagram, I think, and that was pretty cool to see. This I got from Google, except I changed the image. There was this image in Google Images where it was like a keyhole, and then I think it was like kind of like Alice in Wonderland kind of stuff in here and I decided to throw some space stuff. And then this was just a random sketch of Mario. This is me working with the blue pen again, drawing Mega Man with a circular head instead of a square head. 
And this piece, I had gotten inspiration from Google too, I'm pretty sure. Just drew a female with some sunglasses and um, some cool colored city stuff in there. and thought that was pretty cool. These were a lot of fun to do actually. So what these are is they're portraits of course, but I cannot pick up the pen. So I had to stick the pen down and draw and I could not pick it up at all. So these were actually pretty fun. This was not quite as good. This one I think is really good. So yeah, I might try these again later in the future. I think I drew this during class one time and it's just a random girl taking a selfie in her mirror. This was some more pen work and I really wanted to emphasize the hair in this one so I was practicing some deep shadows along the edges and some highlights in the middle. This was Rick and Morty right here. A lot of you probably know them. I had just started their show and I really enjoyed it so I decided to make a little piece off them. Now this piece right here is my all time favorite piece that I have ever done in the sketchbook. This took probably four days to complete total, not like hour wise, but just four days overall. And it was a lot of fun. I think I found this double exposure image on Google and just decided to put it into my own style and replicate it and it's very, very cool and I really like this. This image right here is me and my brother out to get coffee. We like to hang out and get coffee sometimes. And then this was also that thing where I had to put the pen down and couldn't pick it up. And I did a lot of bunch of people drinking coffee. And some of them were okay and some of them were kind of ugly. So, yeah. It was some more portrait practice, but with a pencil. Um, it's okay. I think it could have been better, but it wasn't too bad. This was Zenyatta after I had just gotten back into Overwatch. And Zenyatta it was my main and still is pretty much my main. So now I'm kind of going towards Lucio and Tracer, but we'll see. This was some more fashion work. As you can see, I like to do things with fashion. I think fashion's pretty fun to draw, um, especially on my characters. So this was some fashion work, person on the stairs. This took um, quite a long while to do, but looks good nonetheless. So I think I just drew these during a class and then added this in later. This was more fashion work, but messing with different colored pens. And then this is called stippling, stippling, something like that. And you can only make dots to make your drawing. So the darker, the darker spots are really close dots, which makes it darker and then it gets lighter for different sections. And this is from uh, Finding Nemo. This was more facial expression practice and I just did it on my characters instead. And I noticed that some of them worked well with my uh, character, but I think some of them didn't. So I found that this one didn't work very well and this one didn't either. But I really ended up liking like some of these ones, like this one, and this one. Um, I liked like these and these, and I ended up using those a lot today. This was more female practice. Really the only difference between females and males in my art style is uh, the hair and I had like eyelashes, but really that's about it. This was again, just me working on different art styles, I guess. This was some body composition practice with highlighter. This was some more of that stuff where I couldn't pick up the pen and I drew some flowers with it. This was another one of the things where I can't pick up the pen, but I added some color to it. This I actually really like. I like adding these uh, purples and blues into here and I think that turned out pretty cool. This, I also couldn't pick up the pen. For some reason, I was really into this uh, style of not being able to pick up the pen. This was a drawing of Conan Gray, and I think I ended up doing him a few more times in the sketchbook, so, yep. This I posted on Instagram. It's just a sketch of a barbarian, I guess, and with some smoke and the stuff and in the back, and it was cool. This was another comic that I made. It says, bless you, and then he waits, and he was waiting for him to say, you're welcome. It's not that funny, but it's whatever. This was more portrait practice. Not the best I've done, but it was more so to incorporate this uh, design again. This was just a little colored pencil piece. I have done like something of the same uh, like design before. It's just I colored it and changed it a little bit. This I did during class again. It's a Harry Potter sketch. So, so Malfoy and Harry Potter going head to head. I drew a person graduating 
And then I drew Conan Gray again. This is Conan Gray, a little bit different art style, but I like it. These were for a subscriber celebration, I'm pretty sure. And um, they were just some uh, colored pencil drawings because I can see I have the names of everyone next to here. This was a portrait drawing of Dylan O'Brien. He's an actor, I'm assuming a lot of you know him. Um, it was getting better over time, so if you compare it to like some of my older ones that you saw earlier, it's better, but it's still not quite as good as what I have right now. These were me just drawing people that were around me, and then working on this really small art style, which I kind of liked. These two turned out really good. This was more character design, and then over here was physique practice. So I just laid down, got some pictures on uh, Google Photos just to um, get some references and ended up doing pretty good. I think these one, the legs were too small. Um, this one turned out really good though. This one is kind of like that bar barbarian drawing from earlier, but it's Thor and yeah, that's about it. This was um, practice for a commission and doing some different poses. So it was one of my YouTube videos, I did that Zenyatta commission and this was me um, planning out different poses and seeing what my client liked. These were also for a commission um, for a card game that someone was making and this was me trying out different designs for the actual character and I decided on this one, I'm pretty sure. And then this was practicing for the griffin of the commission and then the cape. And then this was some more practice of the cape. And then this is me, I had just signed up for a little game design class um, over the summer and I got inspired to make a little drawing out of it. So this is like me working on different games, I guess, and thinking about all the games I could possibly make or, yeah, so that was this little drawing. This was some more portrait sketching and trying out different um, art styles that go along with portraiture. So I did this kind of like hashy, um, style turned out okay this was more cartoony thing i didn't fill up this page i think i kind of just forgot about this page this was in my last video this was all stuff for my card game coming up with ideas and stuff like that for uh heroic and then this is me just trying to fill up the sketchbook quickly so i was just getting random words generated on google and came up with random things this is Gravity Falls characters, like Dipper and Seuss and all those people. Um, this is Random Word Generator again, and just working on different things like that. This was more character design, so I just thought of different people, I guess, and uh, lots of different hairstyles, and it turned out pretty good. I really like this one, and this one, and that one. And then <laughs> I was so close to the end of the sketchbook and I made this little um, drawing of me saying almost done with this sketchbook because I wanted to get it done so fast. And then this is the very last page where I'm jumping towards the new sketchbook and he's running away. Say yay, new sketchbook. And that is the end of this sketchbook. Um, this is the first one of this little series I'm going to be doing where I'm filling up a sketchbook and then doing a little tour for you guys. So this sketchbook is now complete. I will store it and keep it forever just to look at my improvements. And yeah, I'm excited to start my next sketchbook. Also, before I go, I want to let you guys know that I uploaded a new video on my Films with Rachel channel, um, which is like my film channel and like weird stuff like that. I went up to the North Shore for a day and made a video out of it. So go check it out. It'll be down in the description below. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys want to see next on my channel. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome art videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!